Bonjour y'all, my name is Brita and today on Witches Unite I'm quickly going over all of the details, sort of, for the upcoming brilliant event Burning Day Part 2 in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Thank you to Nugget and Warner Brothers for providing me with this information early so I can do this video for all of you. So if you've seen my other videos this week then you know that I'm in California and also things at Wizards Unite have been really busy and everything's changing and we're getting like last minute updates to the information that we're supposed to share. So of course I didn't even look at the <laughs> document for the brilliant event until this morning. Thank you to uh, Christine, one of my staff writers, who did the article for Wizards Unite Hub for me. And yeah, it turns out I have some questions because the document has some things that don't make sense. So I am sorry that this video is not more helpful. I guess we're all just going to find out on Monday what's going on in the game. But I will relay the information that I do have along with my advice. I also don't have infographics because uh, James does those mostly and then I edit them for him. And yeah, we have both just been really busy this week and the whole brilliant event thing kind of just, we forgot about it. <laughs> Anyway, let's go over the Brilliant Foundables, the other Boosted Foundables, the tasks, the rewards, strategic tips, all of that good stuff. <laughs> A few basic details about the Brilliant event. It definitely starts November 1st at 11 a.m. Pacific time, and it probably runs through November 5th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So that is a Monday to a Friday as opposed to our expected Monday to Monday. And meaning that we only have four days to do the brilliant event and the tasks are not adapted to be doable in four days, or at least they have not. The tasks are fairly comparable to what we get for a seven day brilliant event. So yay. All right, so brilliant foundables and where to find them. I'm scrolling through my laptop here because I already have the, <laughs> I went ahead and published the Wizards United Hub article. All right, so Brilliant Grop will be an encounter on the map and you need 20 of him. Brilliant Ferenz will be an encounter on the map and you need 20 of him. Brilliant Ron's Prefect Badge will be available in Wizarding Challenges when using a Brilliant Runestone. You need three of those. Brilliant Grop's Bicycle Bell, which has nothing to do, that's not in the books. Okay, that's not in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It's a stupid thing added to the movies because heaven forbid we have a scene where Hermione Granger is not the star. <sighs> anyway, so that's available in Brilliant Porkies. You need five of those or you can complete the entire bonus assignment and then you'll get those five images. Because it is a shortened event, I recommend that you pick up the five Brilliant Porkies just to be on the safe side. And then finally, Brilliant Dolores Umbridge's Torn Cape. That is a brilliant event quest reward that you get for completing tasks. Now, in addition to the Brilliant Foundables, we also have some other Order of the Phoenix Foundables boosted, sort of. So that is Alba's Dumbledore, Severus Snape, and Sirius Black. All of those are completely relevant to the Order of the Phoenix, but then there's also the Mountain Troll, which is boosted, and I've been racking my brains, and I cannot remember a Mountain Troll featuring prominently in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, so... Anyway, so all those will be boosted. Three of them are Legends of Hogwarts Foundables, which is important. And Sirius Black is you use the spell Expecto Patronum in order to defeat him. That is also important. <laughs> Tasks and rewards. So I'm actually going to talk about the rewards because I am a little confused by them. And I didn't think to ask, well, I didn't look at the document until this morning, Saturday morning, so I didn't ask Lola for clarification. 
and we're gonna see what this means. So first set of tasks, collect three ingredients or portmanteaus on the map, picking up spell energy or seeds also works, brew three potions. You can brew those in advance and then just collect all of them when the event begins. Return 12 of brilliant crop foundables, use the time for trace detection, walk around and you will be able to get those. Now the rewards for that are galleons. So it's 30 galleons, 20 galleons, and then one assimilo potion. And it is written as galleons. So I don't know if that is supposed to be gold, in which case, wow, you can really stock up on gold during this event, or if that is something that hasn't been introduced to the game yet, I don't know, but it's, it's galleons. So of course, for doing all of that, your overall rewards are exactly the same as we always get. All right, second set of tasks, return 15 Legends of Hogwarts Foundables. Remember, three of those will be boosted, but of course, returning any Legends of Hogwarts Foundable counts. Use Master Notes five times. Sadly, this is a slow down task. You can spend gold if you want on a second cauldron or to collect potions immediately. Personally, I just use the similar potions and, you know, do it quickly that way, although, since we only have four days, I might spend gold on a rental cauldron. I don't know. Finally, collect six Brilliant Burning Day rune stones. You remember, you get this by visiting the Brilliant Registry. Each time the Brilliant Registry ranks up, you collect a rune stone. So just don't visit the Registry until you get to this step. And then again, for doing all that, you get one Dottle Draft, 30 Galleons and 40 Galleons. And I have no idea what the Galleons are supposed to be. And then your typical overall rewards that you always get. Okay, third set of tasks. Return 15 Brilliant Friends Foundables. Use a taunt for trace detection. Cast five Expecto Patronum spells. Remember, this is the spell that you need for Sirius Black. If you do the spell really slowly and get a fair cast, you might not return it, and that way you can cast the spell multiple times on a single foundable. And then return 15 mountain troll foundables. So, honestly, I feel like that's gonna be even harder than the brilliant friends foundables because the brilliants tend to be boosted slightly higher than the like other boosted foundables. But again, you're trying to reduce protection and if you walk a pretty decent loop so that spawns reset that will help you find foundables in the wild um and for that you get one silver key 50 galleons and one strong simula potion plus your typical overall rewards the fourth set of tasks Place five Brilliant Burning Day Registry Images. This counts for either page, so the first week or the second week. So if you want to work on this in advance, you can do Wizarding Challenges with Brilliant Runestones um, so that you have, I forget what, <laughs> I think it was maybe the Brilliant Firework. But whatever the reward was for the week one, if you have three of those ready, then you can place that as soon as you get to this task. Otherwise, you know, if you just wait to place the Brilliant Friends or the Brilliant Grop until you get here, that's two of them, and then continue to do Wizarding Challenges multiple times so that you place uh, Brilliant Ron's Prefect Badge. You can just place that multiple times. Earn 7,500 Wizarding XP from Challenges. So while you're doing Wizarding Challenges with a Brilliant Moonstone, also drink a Brain Elixir, and then you'll get your Wizarding XP. And then collect 15 Mysterious Note Pieces by returning Brilliant Burning Day Foundables. And that is from week one or week two. So any of the Brilliant Traces on the map, you can go into the encounter and you turn the Foundable, that will count. So you get spell books for all of that. You get your overall rewards and see this is written out as well actually the document says 50 coins but they mean 50 gold so i'm like are coins and galleons the same thing i just i just don't know and then of course you get 
you know, your restricted section books and your Defense Against Dark Arts books and the brilliant Dolores Umbridge's Torn Cape Registry image. And of course, there's a bonus assignment. Return 35 Brilliant Burning Day Foundables. That's grind. Good luck. Earn 12,500 Wizarding XP from any source. Drink a brain elixir and open your extravagant gifts. Defeat 15 formidable foes and wizarding challenges. Remember, those are the two star foes. Um, I usually find them ruins four to tower three, but I also feel like when I'm looking for them is when they don't show up. But that could just be my perception. Return three Albus Dumbledore foundables. He has boosted cast seven Incendio spells. Well, you cast Incendio for Albus Dumbledore. So when Albus Dumbledore appears on the map, you can just cast Incendio slowly and then hopefully he will resist. And then you can cast Incendio multiple times while returning the three Albus Dumbledores. So your rewards for all that is a potent symbol potion, one silver key, one spell book, one spell book, and two wit sharpening potions. And then all of your overall rewards, including the five Brilliant Grabs Bicycle Bell Registry images. So again, if you complete the bonus assignment, you do not have to walk off five Brilliant Porkies. As always, there is a free store pack. It will have all the ingredients to brew a single tonic for trace detection. It will also have 25 spell energy and one dark detector. There will also be premium bundles. These are basically the same premium bundles that we always have. And they're really only a good deal if you are a rural player who seriously struggles to get spell energy and ingredients. Otherwise, it's just not worth the gold for players who have access to ingredients and who have access to spell energy. So that is about all that I have for y'all today. As always, thank you so much for watching. And thank you to Niantic and Warner Brothers for providing me with this information early so I hear this video for all of you. I know that this video is like pretty different <laughs> than what I do. Like I'm still in my pajamas this morning and I don't have all the answers about the brilliant event. I have questions that I'm just raising in in this video but hopefully y'all appreciate the honesty that's what i'm here for to be honest about my feelings on wizards unite a game that i love but a game that still frustrates me at times so if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want more harry potter content subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the galleons is that supposed to be more gold or is it going to be some sort of thing like some sort of new resource or currency that is being added to the game with the new update i don't know tell me what you think give me your guesses i'm your guess is as good as mine so and of course, you can check out the article for this event on Wizards Unite Hub. That will be linked in the description down below. So yeah, that's it. I hope you all have a great weekend and happy Halloween. I don't get to dress up for Halloween because, oh gosh darn, I'm going to be at California Adventure and adults can't wear costumes to Disney parks. So I will be wearing a Minnie Mouse tank top and Minnie Mouse ears. So I think I'll be okay. All right, that's it. Once again, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, au revoir, witches.